More than 100 years ago, a Coosa Riverboat captain named William Patrick Lape looked at Alabama's rivers and saw potential. He saw more than 77,000 miles of rivers and streams, directing almost one-twelfth of the water that passes through the nation's lower 48 states, and envisioned clean, renewable energy to power an industrial boom for the farm-based economy of his state. In 1904, Captain Lay founded Alabama Power to harness this potential. As he put it, Alabama Power was developed for the service of Alabama and bound to the fate of the state it would power by putting loafing streams to work. Lay's dream led to the creation of the company's first hydroelectric facility in 1912, named Lay Dam in honor of the company's founder and was followed by 13 hydro facilities developed during the next six decades by Alabama power leaders following in Lay's footsteps of creating industrial infrastructure across Alabama's agricultural landscape. Today, Alabama's rivers and streams remain some of the state's most beautiful and valuable natural resources. Because of these sprawling resources, our state ranks sixth in the nation for net renewable generation. The hydroelectric dams, originally built to supply light to the state's rural countryside, created lakes that now represent nearly a third of the standing water enjoyed by Alabamians. And with more species per square mile than any state except Florida, they provide crucial habitat for a vast amount of state wildlife. Nowadays, these dams meet the needs of a number of individuals, industries, and organizations who rely on different and sometimes competing parts of their operation. As part of Alabama Power's license to operate these facilities to provide clean energy, the company considers a variety of needs and interests affected by these reservoirs and their operations.